Hello everyone and welcome to the Hive Productions. In this video, we are going to model Google Pixel 6 in 3D Studio Max. So let's get it started. First of all, I have 3D Studio Max and I'm gonna go to the shape and draw a rectangle from the front view port. When you draw them, so adjust them into the center and after that, our next step has to be convert them into a table spline. After having this spline, some take select all the vertexes and uh, just make them fill it. When you will flip them, so it will going to break into the smooth corners. Now apply the extrude modifier. Extrude modifier will help you to give them a depth when you increase the amount. When you will do this, so we have a 3D layout of Simply Mobile. So I'm going to make them editable poly and select front and back as a polygon. Now hold control and select each tool. When you select the each tool, so you can easily chamfer them by giving them uh, some smoothness accordingly. And uh, now select the polygons. Select the polygons. Suppose this is my back cover. I'm gonna grow this selection because I have to make some, okay. So now come downward and make them detach. So it is going to be my back cover. So back cover is separated. Now the turn is screen, take the polygons and select the all screen. Make them detach as well as a screen. Okay. So we have everything is separated. Now the next step, just to take the box, uh, box and uh, I will draw the space for the camera. So I'm gonna go to an top viewport and I will draw the box here, something like this. And after that, you, when you will have this, uh, so you just need to adjust according to their height and according to their spaces. So we must uh, have idea about this. Okay, we I think we should increase some more depth. Yeah. All right, guys. So our next step is just to create them into editable polys by right clicking. Okay, so right click on it convert them into poly, select the right and left edges. And after that, just make them chamfer. When you will give the chamfers, so you give them a segments to have a proper detail. All right, so what we need is that we have to create the logo of Google in the middle of the cell phone. So I have already draw the logo of uh, Google in Illustrator. I'm going to save them as a uh, as a AI format with the name of logo and I'll give the directions here. When you will save this, so you must go to the version 8 Illustrator. It is important because this can easily be imported in 3D Studio Max like this. So just uh, make them import in the side of 3ds Max and it will be easily available here. The same logo. So I'm going to try to adjust uh, between of them and uh, accordingly like this. And now apply the modifier which is called extrude because extrude will give the depth in this logo. That's perfect. Okay, I'm gonna in increase the interpolation. Interpolation will increase the segments and details of this object. So I'm gonna make them 15. 
So now it is looking smooth logo. All right, guys. So my next step is to create uh, buttons. So I'm going to take rectangle and I will create buttons for the power or switch off and switch on buttons or maybe volume buttons. Convert them into a spline. Select the vertices and make them fill it to create a smooth edges. And uh, you just need to adjust in the center of the mobile from the sides. Okay, so when you will adjust them, just go to the modifier list and apply extrude modifier. And placed in the mobile. I think uh, it is looking nice, but we should. Uh, I think we should. Decrease their depth. Yeah, has to be thin. Now hold the shift key and duplicate. Take the vertex and make them stretch because the plus minus button is a long button. All right, then. now select this one and uh, go to the cylinder because uh, we will we need a space for the camera for the lenses. So I'm going to draw a cylinder and then increase the side of the cylinder 30. OK, so one is here. And uh, we just need to duplicate them by holding shift key. Second one is here. Another duplicate by holding shift key. And I'm going to decrease the size of this radius. And uh, now the last one is this one. Just increase the size of the radius somehow. So we have these four cylinders uh, behind of the mobiles. Well, let's uh, take a zoom. OK, so I'm going to take duplicate of them by holding shift key and select these all and make them in the sides of this. So what we need to do this, we need to go to the compound object, find pro boolean, start picking and click them all. Select all of them, insert them in this model like this. All right, so we almost have done this. Right now, uh, right now, our next step is to create texturing. But before that, we have to give them a render setting. And just go to the render settings. Follow these instructions. And uh, after that, you just need to go to the material editor. When you enter the material editor, just find out get material and video material. So my first material is going to be a screen material and I will apply a texture on the screen as a bitmap and I will call my texture. Assign them and go to the modifier list. Find out UVW map. When you click on it, so our texture is going to be appear and it is it looks fantastic. Now the center part of this will take another video material. Assign them, give them a name as a chrome and uh, give them dark gray color and make a reflection a little bit white and remove the check from Ferno. Assign them. All right. So our next uh, step is to work on this camera cover. It will be black or maybe somehow I'm going to give them a lean. And I'm going to give them dark color and I have some reflection. So now I'm going to take a new edge between of them. And the reason is that pixels, Google Pixel 6 has two colors on the back cover. So I'll take the polygon and I'm going to select the top side first. And uh, after taking top side, go to the material and 
get video material and give them a color so I'm gonna choose the color it is about to be orange or maybe close to the right okay okay no I think this is this is, this is okay so give them a reflection to the close to the white yeah and the remaining part has to be white because the mobile is white too. but it doesn't have a only single color it has so many colors so don't consider white every time I'm just going to give them a reflection and then select this Google logo okay and give them this same color like this So alright that uh, we have already uh, created this now convert them into poly and adjust their right and left side because I have seen the this mistakes adjust this mistake okay so our next step is to texture these holes I'm gonna take the light material video light material assign them fantastic I'm gonna take this one give them a gray color somehow more dark okay now this one take new video material and uh, just go to the bitmap and call the lens texture assign them and then go to the material uh, I'm sorry modifier list and find out UW map and play with some length and width as well all right copy this effect assign on this as well so now we have already created this uh, beautiful mobile phone as a model and as a texture as well now select all of them make them a group because I don't want to disturb any part of this mobile so let's create some little studio light setups i'm going to take another duplicate of this mobile and i will turn this mobile by rotation something like this all right so let's see what we have done i think this is all right so now we have to take the camera and I'm going to take track target camera and I will place from the top press C for the camera activation so just adjust the camera looking here something like this I think this is okay okay I'm gonna take uh, the light V-ray light and I will assign this light on the top of this give them 10% multiplier and little bit yellow color okay so let's see uh, what we have to do this so I'm gonna go to the V-Ray and take V-Ray plane and has to assign white color on V-Ray plane for that purpose go to the material editor and assign a white color give them a reflection as well and as well you will have to do this for the environment so assign this white color and uh, let's see this render is looking good but this is not what I want so I'm just gonna go to the render setup and make the radius map on low level and uh, now I'm going to take duplicate of this light from the front side a little bit turn something like that after that uh, just going to see how it this render looks like 
so go to the environment and make the environment white as well same color code 188 188 and 188 so let's see the render oh I think it's not good I'm gonna do that a little bit far light uh, because light is so much close so what we have to do I'm gonna just adjust this light and now I'm taking the render now it looks cool all right guys uh, thank you so much for watching this tutorial and if you like this tutorial so please subscribe my channel and the rest bell icon oh thank you so much